Good morning YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Sri Lanka. I'm extra excited and if you follow the channel, if you know me in person, you'll know why. It's time to go fishing. I'm in my apartment here and uh, this morning I was up extra early. I've been down to the river here and I got myself a whole bucket of prawns. Let me give you a look at that. There's my bucket full of live prawns. I've got my bubble machine here and uh, today is going to be a good day. We're going down to a place called Maragala and we're going to be beach fishing from what I understand. I'm going with a good friend of mine called Ranga and uh, let me show you the gear. I'll give this camera a little turn so you can see what we're working with today. Well, in fact, let me show you what I came with. So this corner is my fishing corner. I don't know how many rods are there. I don't know how many reels. There's at least three boxes full of gear and so much gear it doesn't even fit in the, uh, in the boxes. Oh, I want this. This is like a stand. This is a beach fishing stand. So that is coming with us. And that is why I'm placing it here, because this right here is today's lineup. It's going to be a great day. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Here we are now on location. It's absolutely stunning the view around here. We're on a rock on the end of the peninsula. Behind me here is a temple. Of course, over there, this way. We've got the beach, open oceans that way. And this right here is the mouth of an open river. You got a lot of fish getting washed out the river on the, on the outgoing tide and the fish are all in here feeding. This is my rod, my spinning rod. I've got my sabiki rig here. There you go, it's just a small sabiki. And on the end of it, I put a spoon. I'm just gonna spend the next hour just throwing this and retrieving it. I'm gonna try fast retrieve, slow retrieve see what works, jig it around, and let's see what I get. My prawns are here, they're in the direct sunlight. I hope they're okay. I just got my first fish. Coral, coral. It's a coral fish. Ah, it's a coral. beauty. I'm more than happy with that. Oi, hey, whoa. Eat. Mama canoa. There's a beauty, beautiful coral fish. I'm happy with that. Let's get some more. So we've been fishing for... We've... Hello? Huh? What's not good? This is the central area. Oh yeah? Yeah, Ah, okay, no fishing here. No fishing Okay. I understand. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Please, don't worry. Please, don't worry. I won't do it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. We'll do Saturday night. Saturday night. Please go out. We will do Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're very kind, Dad. You're a good man, too. We'll do Saturday night. So there you go. We just got kicked out by the monk, so. I guess it's time to pack up, maybe find another fishing spot. I was just about to say I'm tired of flicking the law, so I'm going to have a break and have some food. But I guess what we're going to do, we're going to move to a new location, have some food and keep going. I'll see you there. We're here on a new location now. We already have a nice fish for dinner, so I'm not too concerned about that. Anything else is a bonus at this point. I wanted to make a rig that would fish for me whilst I sit and have something to eat because I'm getting kind of hungry now. We've been fishing for two hours at this point. So I'll show you what I've got. I've got a grip weight and then since uh, there's a lot of snap offs going on, I've put this wire trace and then I've just got a, you know, a medium sized hook. It's big compared to what the locals are using, but I'm after big fish. So hopefully it'll go all right and the fish won't notice this big clunky wire trace and we'll get something nice. I'm right near the beach here, you can even see tourists swimming behind me so that could be a bit of a nightmare if I catch a Russian but anyway, I precariously placed my rod out now 
the shrimps out there and I'm going to show you what a Sri Lankan food packet looks like. So this is basically a takeaway I picked up in the local shop on the way down here. And I'm just going to keep an eye on that rod whilst I tuck into this. So this is how it comes, wrapped in paper, plastic to keep the juices in. And there it is, so we have rice and curry. I'm not even sure. I think it's um, dal curry, you know, lentil curry with some coconut curry in there. And the way we eat here, you just take your hands, not even clean them, been fishing all day. You take a little bit of this, a little bit of rice, mix it together. I'm on a bit of a slant here. I hope all my food doesn't slide away and a little bit of this this is coconut sambal mix it all together make a nice little thing like that turn it round and just mm. it doesn't look like much but it's absolutely delicious really spicy and so full of flavor absolutely love it if you're visiting sri lanka don't shy away from the local food it really is the best thing going and this cost me a total of about 200 rupees. Oh, rods go in there. False alarm, I think that was a wave. No, it's going again. It's going to go. Hard to tell. That could easily be a wave, it could not be. I don't know. Anyway. The food was 200 rupees, that's about 25 pence, and it's delicious. So I'm gonna eat my food, I'm gonna do some more fishing. I'll catch you after my dinner. Nice and full now, and let me tell you, that was spicy. So now my nose is running, my face is burning, my mouth's on fire, and it is sweltering out here. I feel like I'm egging a frying pan right now. So unfortunately, I think we're coming to the end of this trip, because my trotters are burnt. Let me give you a little view of them. Jesus Christ, they're gonna be sore in the morning. And uh, yeah, we're only into the third hour of fishing. We've got something for the pan. I think it's time to go because, you know, I've got to ease myself in. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned because there's so many more trips. I'm currently working on a few different things, a few different ideas. So stay tuned, see you in the next one. Two hours later. What have you done? Oh, uh, well, basically, the prawns from the fishing trip, I thought I'd try and save them till next fishing trip by putting them in my mum's tank. Unfortunately, after a couple of hours, they were all dead. And my mum went sick. So I just went and fished them all Don't out. Don't be tripping that on the prawn, she's gonna... Tell me off again. Yeah, I know. Go to the bin. No, no, I'm taking these home. I'm gonna cook them. Another little project I've got going on is a, a chicken coop. My mum said she wanted a chicken coop. Um, and uh, it's getting made as we speak, so why don't we take a little look around the back mm -hmm. and see what you think of the chicken coop. Let's go. Happy Hi. Hi. Wow, look at the roof. Coming along beautiful. Near my... All right, the door's on there now. Look at that. Uh, that's a beautiful chicken coop if I've ever seen one. Wow, I'm impressed. Very impressed. Come on, this way you get a good look at the front. It's the door. This is uh, Shan, Honda Colla. This is a Miller, more Honda Colla. <laughs> There's nothing these lads can't do. Nothing these lads can't do. Right now they're fixing on the latch by the look of it. As soon as it's done, I'm gonna go inside. I'll give you a grand tour. I think the kitchen's on the right. Um, bathroom to the left. There's a nice living area in the middle. I'm gonna put a few sofas in there. Maybe a juice bar. You're not keeping the happy, uh, happy chicken if you put kitchen in there. Oh yeah. Go <laughs> Oh, there's all my juice. Look, my juice is ready as well. <laughs> the kind of service we get around here. Warm and cozy. Thank you. <laughs>